Welcome to the Mind Grow Radio Storyteller Series podcast. I am your host, Stephanie Cathan, and today we are joined by a certified massage therapist, Reiki practitioner, yoga teacher, mother, and the founder of North Star Healing Institute and owner of Serenity Spa, Abby Skidmore, please help me welcome Abby. She is one of my favorite people and a dear friend, and it's such an honor to have you here today, Abby. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. I want to just dive right into this conversation. As you look around your life now, all of these amazing achievements, you just opened your second location of Serenity Spa. Uh, You have a new 500-hour certification massage school that is launching right now through North Star Healing Institute. You seem to be on fire as you create and bring this stuff into the world. You've created truly an amazing life. How does your life feel now compared to when you first started out on this journey? Um, It's been really great to see things unfold. Um, And I pat myself on the back for just not giving up and not, um, yeah, giving up on my dreams and goals um, because it has not always been easy, but it's very rewarding when stuff actually shifts and manifests into reality and we don't ever know how long that might take or how fast it can happen but when it does it um, it is truly a blessing so I'm very grateful Um, and things are definitely different than when I started out of course Um, lots of years. Can you give us a little (laughs) glimpse of that? Yeah I mean it's it's quite a story um but in in general, I mean, I've been, I've worked my way from from the ground up. Really, I I graduated college and traveled a little bit. Couldn't couldn't really find a job. Uh, decided I needed to go back to school for something, uh, and I chose massage therapy. And from from that program, just everything changed for me. My eyes really opened up. I learned about energy work and chakras and spirituality and that is what brought me uh, through the rest of the years of just this work this inner deep work of self-realization and action and I've been I've been homeless I've been poor I've been you name it but slowly you know with a lot of faith I've been able to start my own business and grow it to where I can now help others uh, in all sorts of different walks of life, and I'm very grateful for that. When you were homeless, I've been homeless too. It's it's a horrible feeling. And when when you were there, could you imagine yourself living the life that you live now? Like, could you imagine that you were going to create something so spectacular as what you're experiencing now? <laughs> um, probably not back then. I mean, I didn't... It, when you're in that type of situation, a lot of times it's hard to see see from the day to day, like just getting through the day and what the next step is, you know, and what, what's right in front of you. Uh, throughout the years, I've been able to to really look at what I want to manifest and what I want to do and where I want to be and be more present and live in the now moment, but also work hard toward my goals. Um, so I've, I've had a good imagination through the years, but when you're down and out like that, it, it is, it's tough to, um, to see all the greatness that lies ahead, but yeah. And you didn't give up. Like, no. The, it is so <laughs> uh-huh. wonderful to see what can happen when you don't give up, regardless, right, of what your circumstances are, regardless of what you're living in this moment, there can be a a positive outcome ahead. 
and it doesn't define us. You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. It's it's so great to actually witness um, something coming at, coming out of a situation that at the time felt so dire or desperate. You know, was there something that made you decide to travel the journey of an entrepreneur? Since high school, like. I, I knew I wanted to own my own business one day. I didn't really know what, what that was or or how I would do it, but I knew I wanted to work for myself and be my own boss. Um, and I remember we had to pick something um, to to research and to write a business plan on in one of my classes. And I couldn't think of anything. I don't know what I want to do, right? I'm I'm young. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I had to choose something for this project, so I chose a spa. <laughs> and now here I am, owner of two different spa locations, and just everything I worked toward, I, I think it was like my higher self knew that that was kind of my path, but I didn't know at that point that that's, you know, I was really working toward my future by doing that. I just kind of had that little light bulb. I said, okay, I'll do this. Okay, I'll do that. And and then here it is. <laughs> and it's amazing. I've been inside your spa. It's it's truly beautiful and the energy in there is um you have a very calming energy in there. Like as soon as you walk in it just feels good to be there. Yeah, I'm, why don't you let people know what is North Star Healing Institute? And where so, where can people go to learn more? about that okay so north star healing institute is um is my massage school and serenity spa are my two spa locations so they're separate businesses but we i use them to work together so that when my program launches this august um, people that go through the massage program are instantly able to get a job at one of my spa locations. I'm also teaming up with other local spas and massage therapists that have 10, 20 years under their belt that are going to come in and help me teach. And uh, we're going to do little spa field trips so people can see what other people are doing, not just me. Um, I really want my students to be able to to see what's going on across the state as far as massage therapy, holistic healing, energy work, stuff like that. Um, So my new program launches this August, and it's going to be a 500-hour massage therapy course. A lot of it's going to be online, very flexible. Um, And then we'll meet once a month in person where we do the hands-on training. And then the massage clinic is 150 hours and a hundred of those hours students can earn as they learn so when a client is paying for a student massage that money can come right off their tuition i want to make this really oh affordable gosh, that yeah amazing. yeah i really want it to be that accessible and affordable amazing. for people mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I love that whole idea um, that you're offering this way for not only patrons to support students, but for students to support their education and go through this amazing 500-hour instruction and certification with uh, and that you're offering job placement at surrounding spots that's like nobody's doing that and <laughs> what an amazing opportunity not just for you and the school and the students but for the healing that's going to be brought into the world like you're going to yeah. create a whole new ripple of holistic practitioners that are going to be out there doing their magic in the world. And I love that so much. (laughs) Whoa. Do you have any tools or tips that you'd like to share from your own personal growth toolbox? Maybe the things that you do or practices or whatever that has helped you kind of stay on that path. Because so many times as an entrepreneur, we do feel like giving up. We feel like, oh, my gosh, this is so 
hard, and it's sometimes um, we make it hard for ourselves, but <laughs> it's that stick to itiveness that is required. Do you have any tips or tools to help people stay on course for their yeah. drink? For their drink? Yeah, um, I just continue to learn. You know, I would take advantage of any opportunity to learn something new or to refresh my memory um, after high school and then college. Think things change so much in the country, in the world, and so you have to go back and revisit these things you thought you learned about, but now have, you know, everything's changed, so you need to relearn. Uh, So there's lots of free opportunities out there for classes and workshops, and there's so much, especially through the state of Vermont, that is offered um, online through different uh, community service projects, Brock, Voc Rehab. There's so many things out there. You just have to stay connected and you have to find find out. um, If you're not in Vermont, there might be local agencies that are willing to help you wherever you are. Absolutely. It's worth looking into. And then just your personal practice. I mean, keeping your energy high, your vibration high, and then resting when you need to rest and not letting the naysayers get you down, you know. Don't let people should on you. You know, you should do this, you should do that. And you can take what they say and observe it, but then always tune back in to yourself and your heart and your life's journey and, and follow your path and don't let all those other words kind of change your heart and what you want to do with your life because it is your life. Um, So clearing and protecting your energy, following your heart and, and sticking to the people that really support and love you is is really important for anybody, let alone entrepreneurs that are trying to, to do their own business. Yes. Oh, so many good gems in there. Abby, where can people go to learn more about you and the energy that you bring to the world? Um, so I am on Facebook. Both of my businesses have a Facebook page, Serenity Spa Vermont, North Star Healing Institute. And I'm on Instagram under North Star Healing Institute. The websites would be serenityspavermont.com and northstarhealinginstitute.com has where you can click the menu and join our team and show your interest about the massage school. For Serenity Spa, you can book right online at both locations in Wilmington and in Manchester. We also offer some traveling services and different workshops and things people can get together and do. And they just have to contact me via email, my cell phone, Um, or the online forms, there's plenty of ways to reach me and um, and we can be pretty creative and flexible with different treatment options and workshops and things. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much. Do you have any, let me see, how, what is the best piece of advice? I'll put it that way. What is the best piece of advice that you would give to somebody who may be for the first time discovering their own personal power, like their own desire to be something different other than what the world's told them they should be? Mm, That's a good one. Uh, I definitely, I've been through that. You know, I started naturally learning about, different holistic healing modalities and hanging out with different people. And I remember just looking around at the people I was with and some of the things they were doing. I'm like, this is weird. These guys really believe in this stuff. Like, does this really work? You know, all those ego thoughts coming in and now I get to be that weird, weird one. Right. And, (laughs) and do, do this stuff. So, um, you just you have to be willing to let go, um, let go of whatever came before the now moment. Um, relationships might shift, and you have to be willing to let go of some of that. The people that served you um, in the past might not be the people that move up with you in the future, and that's okay. And there's no judgment there. It's just um, it's just different when you find a new path. Um, some of the people that that were 
in your life before might not be as present. And I think that's tough for people to be able to navigate, but just not giving up and, and practicing letting go. It is a practice. Um, and just reminding yourself, like it is a practice, all this stuff that we, we do and we learn, we have to practice it. So. Mm, practice is a really important thing that I feel like we don't give enough credit to. Um, I remember I was listening to this interview with Kenny G, the musician on uh, on the Wisdom app. I was listening to him talk about his career. I mean, and he's been playing guitar for like over 30 years. And he still, it might even be 40 years now, he still practices three or four hours a day, every day. And I feel like practicing your self-care and your mindset and your energy and your um, creating new habits through practice, you know, is so important. So I love that you said that, that you need to practice because it's such a powerful word that we don't give enough attention to. And my opinion, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So mm-hmm. lastly, our time has flown by. It always does when I'm talking here. It goes by really fast. What last piece of advice would you give to somebody uh, from your heart right in this moment out to to anybody who might be listening right now, what is the last piece of advice you'd like to give? Well, the word that popped into my head when you said that was just gratitude. Um, I think that's the key that has changed my life the most is just practicing gratitude and being grateful, even if it's for the the silliest things you can come up with. Um, I would practice when I'm driving in the car, right? If I don't have time to write my list or or do all these different things to practice gratitude, you can do it when you drive. You can do it when you walk. Just look around and find something to be grateful for. And, and the more you practice that, the more those positive things will come to you. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> Uh, thank you to our special guest, Abby Skidmore. Go find her on social, connect with her on Insta and Facebook. Tune into her energy. Go visit North Star Healing Institute website. We want to thank our listeners for tuning in. I am your host, Stephanie Kassin. You've been listening to the Mind Grow Radio Storyteller Series podcast. And we were joined today by the ever fabulous Abby Skidmore. Be sure to subscribe to the Mind Grow Radio channel on YouTube and keep rocking your vibe. We will see you on the other side. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks so much, Abby. Thank you.